Welcome in to Texans Today. I'm your host, Jeremy Chuggs, and I mean, an exciting victory, Victory Monday. Ain't it sweet, Texans fans? Ain't it sweet to wake up Monday morning and not be absolutely pissed off about your NFL team? Well, we're there. We're there right now. The Texans defeating the Cardinals 21 to 16. Let's look at some of the numbers along with that. CJ Stroud, 27 to 37, 360 or 336 yards, two touchdowns, did have three interceptions, but hey, Texans still won. Devin Singletary, another fantastic week, over 100 yards on the ground and a touchdown. Tank Dell with an acrobatic, amazing catch, eight receptions, 149 yards, one touchdown from Tank. And I mean, the Texans, they absolutely dominated the Cardinals, you know, almost let them get back into the game, but you know, whenever they needed to turn it on, they did. Steven Nelson, the secondary, doing great work. Great to see Derek Stingley back from injury, getting an interception on Kyler Murray. You know, Kyler Murray coming back from injury was able to run around a little bit. But this Texas team, man, they have the juice. You know, in a game that they should have won, and it maybe it was a little closer than people thought it was going to be, they still went out and got the W. That's the most important part. Maybe they didn't win by two touchdowns. Maybe they didn't absolutely dominate. But, you know, they did what they needed to do, and they turned it on when they needed to. We're going to break down three overreactions after this victory, but we're getting close to 7,000 subscribers. And my bosses told me this. They said, hey, I know a lot of Texans fans want watch parties. Watch parties is probably one of the most fun things we do here at Chat Sports. But they said, hey, we want to see this Texans channel grow. We want to see what Texans fans have. So they said, I can't even sniff a watch party until I get to 7,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get you more daily Texans videos, more Texans news and rumors videos on the daily, but I can't do that unless we get more subscribers. So go down, hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate it. Go and send the link, youtube.com slash Texans TV to a couple Texans fans, to a couple friends, and let's get this channel going. It is the fastest growing Texans channel on YouTube, so let's keep that momentum going. First up on overreaction Monday, the Texans can win the AFC South? That's some real talk right there. That's some real talk. The Texans can, in fact, win the AFC South and could come down to this next weekend's matchup as we look at the current AFC playoff picture. Now, keep in mind this is being recorded before the Monday night game between the Chiefs and the Eagles, but I don't think a lot would change with that. Chiefs in the one seed, Ravens. Then the Jags there with the three seed winning the AFC South at seven and three and Miami at the four seed at seven and three. But the Texans, they're six and four, right? One game behind the Jags. They already have beaten the Jags previous in the season. If they beat them again, they own the tiebreaker outright over the Jags if they have the same record. So, of course, the Texans can win the AFC South. As we look at the rest of their games, I mean, they beat the Cardinals in Week 11, a huge victory that they needed to have to, you know, keep in that playoff hunt, keep a wild card spot. But Week 12 against the Jags, that's a huge matchup. If they can win that game, the momentum going forward, I think, can propel them to possibly win the AFC South. Who'd have thunk it? They were last in the odds at the start of the year to win the AFC South. Now look at us. Who would have thought? I mean, you beat the Jags in Week 12. You have the Broncos and the Jets in the following week. Two. Semi-tough matchups that I think you need to win one of those. And then you have the Titans, Browns, Titans, and then Colts. If you win a majority of those games, I mean, after the Jags game, if you win four out of the next six, you're, I think you're definitely in the playoffs. But if you beat the Jags and you win maybe four out of the next six as well, I think you could obviously win the AFC South. So that brings me to this question. I need everybody to go down in the comments right now. Usually I ask you to predict the score. But now I just need to ask you straight up. Look at me in the eyes. Look at me. Go down in the comment section right now and tell me, do you believe in this team? Do you think they can beat the Jaguars again this week to then get a hold of the AFC South? Do you think they can win this uh, division? Let me know down in the comment section. If you got the Texans this weekend, type H-O-U. You think the Jags are going to pull it out? Type J-A-C. I'm really interested to see what you have to say in the comment section. Let me know what you're thinking. Next up on Overreaction Monday, Cashman should get an extension. Now, 
producer text. I want to tell them about my thoughts on this after I let you know about today's sponsor and the sponsor of today's show. It's Prize Picks, baby. The one and only. I could not put the lights on without them. So big shout out to Prize Picks. It's the most fun I've had winning up to 25 times my money this football season and now basketball season. You just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. And I've been talking about, you know, Texans picks, NFL picks for all season long, but now we're in NBA season, so I'm I'm mixing in a couple NBA picks for you as well. I'm getting some rockets in there. Give me more on Dylan Brooks points at 11 and a half, more on Alperin Shingun. This is points, rebounds, and assists at 33 and a half. Give me the more on that. Jalen Green, more than 15 uh, shots attempted. And then you can't have everybody on the same team. So I had to mix one other player in there. And who else but the MVP, Nikola Jokic. Give me more on 52 and a half points, rebounds, and assists on him. Hey, use my picks, earn some money. Or if you hate those, fade my picks. Whatever you're doing, do it at prize picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. That means if you put in $100, they're going to give you an extra $100 to play with. Once again, go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize picks is daily fantasy sports made easy. Now, Blake Cashman, should he get an extension? The Texans linebacker. This is also real talk. I 100% believe Blake Cashman should and has deserved an extension from the Houston Texans. He has been the best Texans linebacker all season long. And I mean, his numbers against the Arizona Cardinals are just wacky, folks. 19 tackles, a sack, a tackle for loss, two quarterback hits, and a PBU. Blake Cashman can do it all. And he is a, going to be a free agent upcoming this offseason. And I think he's going to be one of the best linebacker free agents this offseason because of his play and his age. He's only 27 this season. Going into the prime of his career, I think you lock up Blake Cashman for at least the next two to three years. I mean, when we take a look at the Texans linebacker depth chart, you have Denzel Perriman in the middle, who he's currently suspended, has one more game left on that two-game suspension. Henry Toto, who you drafted this past year out of Alabama. Christian Harris, you also have on the linebacker depth chart. So you have some depth there at the linebacker spot. But Blake Cashman has far and away been your best player at the position. And I think maybe you don't break the bank for him. But I think if you get ahead of free agency, if you're already talking to Blake Cashman, you say, hey, your fit here with the Texans is phenomenal. You and uh, D'Amico Ryans, you'll have something good going with this Texans defense. Let's get you back in here for next season and for years to come. But this isn't Jeremy Sports. This is Chat Sports. So I want to hear from you. Would you give Blake Cashman an extension going on past the season? He's going to be a free agent this offseason. I would love to see the cash man because Blake Cashman is cash man. I'm telling you that right now. I want to see him rocking the Texans uniform next season. But what say you? Would you give him an extension? Give me a yes or no down in the comment section. All right, last topic here for Texans overreaction Monday. Texans will win two NFL awards this season. As much as I want to believe this, I think it's an overreaction for right now. I think C.J. Stroud deserves the MVP, but currently sitting in the odds, he's six. And with the other guys, I think I say it's a slight overreaction because you already know you have one in the books as long as C.J. Stroud is healthy at the end of the season because he is the far, far leader for Offensive Rookie of the Year odds at minus 2,000. D'Amico Ryan's currently in second at plus 300 for Coach of the Year. Will Anderson third for Defensive Rookie of the Year at plus 1,600. And C.J. Stroud MVP plus 1,800. He is sixth for that. So I think you have one in the bag. Possibly another one if D'Amico Ryans and this Texans team wins the AFC South. I don't see why not he wouldn't win the Coach of the Year award. But currently stating right now, to win two awards is going to be tough. So I'm saying it's a slight overreaction, but I would not be surprised at all 
if the Texans walked away with two, maybe three NFL awards at the end of the year. Because I definitely think C.J. Stroud deserves Offensive Rookie of the Year. No doubt about it. C.J. Stroud, yeah. MVP has a little tough road ahead of him, but I think he deserves to be in the conversation, the top three for MVP voting this year. And D'Amico Ryans, if the Texans win the AFC South, no doubt he should be Coach of the Year. Now that's it for today's show. I appreciate everybody who made it to the end of the video. Drop some H's down in the comment section so I can show you some love if you made it all the way to the end. And if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter at Jeremy Chugs for the latest Texans news and rumors, dank memes, and everything around the NFL and NBA. And make sure, once again, that you're subscribed. I'm trying to do more watch parties, especially around playoff season. I think this team's making it to the playoffs. So I want to do some playoff watch parties. The only way we're doing that is if we get to 7,000 subscribers. So go down and hit that sub button. Go to youtube.com slash TV and subscribe today.